Hey guys, welcome back. Um, let's talk about lifters. Uh, I went and did tons of research on lifters, just as you should, if you're building a new engine or building a rebuild engine. And I talked to engine builders, several around here, my engine builder in particular, high performance uh, engines. Uh, and Richard told me, like a lot of other people told me that the uh, lifters that everyone's selling are either Molly or a derivation of Molly, you know, rebranded Molly. And he said, you're better off with a Motocraft lifter. So, you go online and search for a Motocraft lifter and you'll get all kinds of stuff. If you look for Motocraft lifter for a 73, you'll get a part number. The great thing about this is that they've used the same lifter from the IDI 73 all the way to the 64. So, using that knowledge, if you go and look for lifters for a 64, which are more recently out of production, you'll get this number. Ford Parts Giant, $58 for four of them. So it come to like 250 bucks for a full set of lifters. To me, that's still kind of expensive, but you know, being as what they are. But if you buy a 7.3 lifter by the 7.3 part number, you're gonna pay about 31 to $41 per lifter, which comes out to double the price. So. Why not get these at the same at, at the less price and the same quality? And you don't have the problems of the uh, Molly lifters. Supposedly made in China, I think. If you look at this label, it says right there. Made in USA. Majority contents made in USA. That's probably the box. Just kidding. But that's what we're going to run. I'm fixing to dump them in some oil, let them soak, and we're going to put them in. And uh, after that, we are ready to put the heads on. So maybe we'll get that done today, too. Thanks. Just to prove a point, I pulled one of the lifters out of the oil that, we're, that they're soaking in. The only thing you can tell about these is this one's still... Oops. I'm putting it back in frame. Sorry about that. This one is still dirty. This is a brand new lifter. It's the same lifter, guys. This is the one that came out of my engine, 7.3 lifter. This is one of the new ones that we bought for the 6.4. Now, I'm elaborating on that failure rate on the Mollies, a lot of those failures are in the 6.0 engine. And if you read any about valve train and problems and power strokes, you're sure to come up with 6.0 problems. The 6.0 problems had uh, were related directly to the camshaft, actually. The lobes on it were so steep on the rise and fall of the lobe that it was just pounding the, the roller to pieces. It couldn't handle the strain. So they redesigned the lifter, supposedly, I think, for 6.0s. I'm not sure. Don't run a 6.0, so I don't know. But we got our replacement, so we're good. Okay, guys, let's put some lifters in. I got, I've been soaking for a little bit. I got this um, ice cream bucket. What you'll do is soak them in oil, engine oil. I pull them up with a magnet so I don't get, try not to get too much oil on me. Hi. We'll just do a single set. There's no sense in watching this. Do 16 of these things. Basically, you put the roller in so it's 
lined up. If it'll go. Oop. Okay, oil is very slippery. There you go. Then you're going to put a plate on, guide plate. That keeps the rollers in line. And then a bolt. And the bolt gets torqued to 15 foot. Use a long extension. Put it in by hand and then torque them up. Engine's coming together well. Taking a lot of time, but I could keep getting pulled off this for doing other stuff. I had to just about rebuild a mower because it's grass cutting season, so we had to do that and then of course work but other than that it's not a big deal so we're gonna I'm gonna stop the film here and put lifters in it's not a big deal and slide them down the boards put the plate in torque that to 15 foot pounds it's not a big deal so we'll move on let me stop this one okay guys let's talk about gaskets this is the Molly set the OEM set for gaskets uh, let's see if I got the number on this one I'll have to look up the number, but I got it from Molly Direct for the best price out there, and it's a pretty complete set. It's got uh, it's got all your O-rings. I see the um, there's the oil cool oil um, what am I trying to say? Oil cooler stuff. Okay, and the high pressure pump. Set of valve seals we didn't need because my my machinist put them in. Sure what this is. Oh, the high bar, uh, high pressure pump screen, exhaust gasket, two tubes of sealer, and your um, head gasket. So, seems pretty complete to me. I'm in search of the um, anti drain back valve gasket. Let's see if we can find it. Hang on. Okay, that particular O ring. This one does not appear to be in the Molly kit. That's the drain back valve. I gotta clean it here. And the ball and spring. And it goes right here in the front of the block. So if I can't find an O ring, I'll just be ordering one. That's not a big deal. And we'll uh, we'll hold off on that, putting that in. Stand by. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, we have one cylinder head on. Word of caution. Use two people and make sure nobody drops their side. My son dropped his side on this head. We were setting it on and it slipped out of his hand and he gouged the gasket. Things happen. So I ordered another one. It's uh this one is not usable as you can see it's it's bent pretty good. As things happen, this is out of the um, Molly gasket kit. So I ordered a uh, a new gasket from uh, Rock Auto, and um, I didn't record how this one went on, but we will record the, the next one. These are all torqued down. Those are the ARP studs. And there's a requirement. You have a, sh uh, a short stud. It's about a quarter of an inch shorter than the rest of them. It goes in front of these injectors. So that when you put the injector in, the stud's not in the way. If you had one of these longer studs, 
with more thread hanging out, it would uh, be in the way of the injector. You couldn't put it in. So we'll have a, a new gasket on its way coming in. And it's been a while since I did a video. Most of that's been because of stuff going on at the house. We, we have eight people living in our house, so it's a little busy. But uh, it's coming together. I'm going to cover it up for the night and uh, wait on a gasket to get here. When that comes in, I'll record how we put this one on and uh, torquing everything down. Things to remember, oil free on this. You know, make sure you wipe it down with, uh, this one hasn't been wiped yet, with brake cleaner or acetone or whatever you've got. I always use brake cleaner and then follow it with denatured alcohol. And then it's completely um, oil free. And you do the same thing to the cylinder head and then you set your gasket on. There's only one way they go. Um, it's pretty straightforward. After that head's on, we've got valve train to put in, the front cover. I might make a video on what I'm doing with the um, oil pan. I'm going to solve the um, dipstick thing once and for all. Um, with a little bit of machining, it's not a big deal. Cut one down on a lathe and then drill it and uh, counter bore it for the dipstick. Weld it in and it's done. That's the plan anyway. We'll see how it goes. I got a bunch of scrap around here. I'll turn one out real quick. But uh, I'll cover that in another video. But just to let you know, we're still here. Things are going slow. We got to uh, wait on parts now. And then after that, uh, after the head gasket gets in, I think I've got everything else to put this finish this engine out and uh, we have all the powder coated parts under the plastic because we've been doing a whole bunch of grinding and welding on some other projects we got going on uh, you know the engine takes takes a back seat to stuff that has to be done now so it'll get done thanks for tuning in